you know, mapped onto this new thing. And so for all intents and purposes, for all, you know, for all science knows, it is, it is the exact same particle. Um, all right, you know, Tyler, it, what is the, what is the out, like, what could we benefit from this in the future? Like, so, I would say the quickest thing we could benefit from this. Um, so the, the easiest thing is it, um, it revolutionizes um, telecommunications and data encryption um, because, you know, you're no longer, the way I understand it is you're no longer transmitting the information of this photon or electron or whatever uh, over, you know, lines that can be tapped and over, you know, airways that can be tapped or whatever. It's just information going from one place to another. Um, and there's just nothing you can do about, you know, intercepting it intercepting it and, and 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 that sort of thing so that's that's kind of the the most easily accessible advantage all right final um, question tyler who are you in dota and how are you doing right now <laughs> um i'm playing as underlord uh i've got i'm zero one and one i'm level 12 i went mid because there was some shitty things happening oh, that sniper. sounds like bad already um but yeah, I'm level twelve. Everyone else is like at level eight and nine, so I'm doing okay, I guess. Well, I apologize for Connie interrupting uh, during Dota. My girlfriend does that to me all the time, so I understand where <laughs> you're coming from. So we'll let you go. Thank you for being on our show, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, Tyler. Right, bye. Bye. Cool. All right. So faxing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly is what it is. <laughs> we just cool. fax this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. Really cool, but we fax that shit. All right, Blev. What is your topic for this week? Well, it's it's nothing incredible like that. <laughs> uh, it's kind of uh, immature and stupid, but... I think we need that right now. Okay, well, marry, fuck, and kill, okay? Okay. Oh, who are you going to marry, who are you going to fuck, and who are you going to kill? Okay. Say intercourse. Yeah, yeah, intercourse, yeah. Um, so, back to that marry, intercourse, or kill. Is that better? Yeah, yeah, is that yeah. better? Okay. Maybe just date. Date? Yeah. Date? Let's go date. Date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. But that ensued... All right, yeah? No, fuck. Let's say fuck. Okay, We're going to do it. We're right. adults. We can say what the fuck we want. We're yes, we can. Fuck them. We're going to... All right, sorry. Is that, is that okay? You're getting, getting aggressive. Getting aggressive. I'm looking at my wife. It's cool. Okay, yeah. it's cool. It's Let's cool. go. Let's go. Okay, Mystique, Black Widow, or Harley Quinn? Which one are you going to fuck? Which one are you going to marry? Which one are you going to kill? Quick, buddy. Uh... Do you know all three of these characters? I know all three of those. Ones, all right, cool. Okay. All right. Okay. So do you have to wait That's for Wyatt to get back question. though? Yeah, he can go. Like, okay. Oh, oh, okay. There well, it is. We'll say it one more time for Wyatt. Okay. This is Mary, fuck, and Got kill. It. Okay. Uh, Mystique, Black Widow, and Harley Quinn. Who are you gonna marry? Who are you gonna fuck? Who are you gonna kill? I know. I already got it. You already got it. Yeah. Okay. Go so first. Uh, easy. no, wait, wait, no, buddy, you're gonna go first. Well, I'm not ready. You're so not ready. I go first. Uh, I, have to think. I have to think. I thought I got to choose. Everybody got to choose. No, it's desk. not a free country. It's not a free country. <laughs> it's not a free country. Okay, go ahead, Wyatt. All right, so I would start with, uh, I would fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harley Quinn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just say what I'm gonna do, and then I'll explain why. To Harley would, Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I would fuck Harley Quinn, marry Mystique, and kill Black Widow. Uh, the reason being. Is I get to have sex with Margot Robbie and Harley Quinn, uh, and then I'd marry Mystique. So if I ever want to do that again, I would just ask Mystique to do that <laughs> shit again. <laughs> oh my god! Just uh, touch her. Give her. Get, take I mean, a walk it's her Mystique. Hair. I mean, come on. Like, look what. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my favorite scene in all of the X Men movies. Uh, do you remember Days of Future Past when Mystique, played by Jennifer Jennifer, Jennifer Jay Lawrence, Jay Law, uh, she was in um, that room with the Korean general, and she choked him with her foot as she like spread eagle choked him against the wall. I think I leaned to you, Kendall, and said I've never wanted to be a Korean general extra in a movie in my fucking life. Do you remember that? She is she looking at me like she's bewildered at the moment. I sat right next to you, and I remember telling you that. I said I never wanted to be a Korean <laughs> extra in a movie. <laughs> you guys are in a movie theater. <laughs> oh. All right, and I guess Black Widow is just default because I like the other two so much better. So there's no reason. I'm sorry, Black Widow and Scarlett Johansson, but that's just the. This is a tough happen. call for me too to try to like pick these. I was like asking Kaylee. I was like, I which think, one should I pick? All right, I'm gonna go next. I think I would. I'm going to assume that the consequences of these things are still in play. So I'm going to 
Oh, I don't know. Because then you're thinking about the Joker, and if you're just fucking Harley Quinn, <laughs> that's it, then like you're you're gonna deal with the yeah, Joker. Joker. Well, any of those three mm, things, you're screwed. Insane. You might as well pick your favorite. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, but who's gonna keep you safe though after marrying her? I'm gonna marrying them. I'm gonna f- I'm gonna fuck Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> for, the same, for, for the same reason that you're gonna marry her, like I'm, I really think for a while about like it's just once. <laughs> I was about to say, you only have one chance of how long is well, that going to last. Think about a while. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest here. It's not, it's not like she's going to be flipping bodies in the middle of it that you're like, get them all out of there. <laughs> um, I'm going to marry Black Widow because I think financially I'd be set up for life. She's an Avenger. She's got the backing of Tony Stark. Um, that means I could hang out with all the Avengers, and as a comic book nerd, that would be amazing. Like to be able to hang out with like Iron Man, like go to parties as like the plus one. Now, I would definitely be jealous all the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, so I saw you uh, hung out with Thor tonight again. She'd be like, he dropped the like, hammer on her. Yeah, we just like went and saved, <laughs> like we just went and saved Bosnia. So, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Just you and him. <laughs> Find myself getting like really jealous. Why didn't really you fast. call me? He yeah. just walks by. He walks by you naked, and you're like, whoa, come on, man. It's like, well, I, I don't know. I understand like why you always want to call Thor first when you have to go save a foreign country. Why you couldn't ask me? <laughs> um, but yeah, I would marry Black Widow. Um, I would, I guess, I would kill Harley Quinn in a weird way. I feel like the Joker would respect me. He for would. That. I think that'd be the safest of the three for the Joker is killer because he honestly doesn't really give a shit about her. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And so those those are my three. But mm. wait, so if we marry somebody, we can't have sex with them? What? Of course. What? I mean, that's how Kendall just... and I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, so that's what happens. So you get married, you stop. <laughs> Kendall and I practice reverse Catholicism. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so wait, no. In that case, then, why wouldn't you marry Mystique? Because then you could technically, technically have That's sex what I was with anybody you wanted. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Is that cheating? That's not cheating. Why would that but be cheating? Wait, hold on, though. Does, does, her, does her vagine change then? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. She changes. Does her vagina change? Kendall, no, no, no. That's not what you said. Come here. I didn't want to say vagina. <laughs> Hold on. Guys, I've got Kendall here. Um, Kendall, if you were Mystique, now to give you an idea of who Mystique was. From the, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she dreamed about her too. If Don't we worry. were married and you had the power to change your appearance whenever you wanted to look like somebody else, and I kept asking you to do that whenever we had sex, like, how would that make you feel? Like a piece of meat. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I mean, so I think if you're going to marry someone, now let's think about what marrying someone means, guys. Marrying oh my isn't God. just about sex. I'm Jesus, serious. Jesus, brownie points over I'm, here. I'm, I'm not. I'm just <laughs> saying seriously. It's just because this is The recorded. sex one. <laughs> Stop. I'm being serious. The sex one Stop. is just about sex. So pick the one that's going to be the let most me, fun. Let me tell you this, the, though. If you remember in the first X-Men movie when she tries to turn on to uh, Wolverine and she crawls into that tent, or maybe this was this, this was the second one, She's like, she kept changing into different uh, uh, people, and she's like, you could have this every night. And it was like, so she's yeah. encouraging so she's up for it. So she's in that up case, for that, I'm going Does Mary... the vagina change, though? <laughs> I want to know yes. that. Yes, but I want to know. Would, yes, it does. <laughs> Can you look <laughs> move that lore up? <laughs> so I'm going Mary Mystique. I would do, probably fuck Harley Quinn for the same reason, because I have a huge celebrity crush on Margot Robbie, and I would go kill Black Widow, I guess. Even though hey. that makes me sad, but that's the only other choice. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hmm. Scarlett Johansson gotta go. Yeah. What, what about the other left? two? I would probably choose your path of marriage. You know, I'd probably marry Black Widow, just for the fact to hang out with Avengers. In and, scenario. And, and be protected a little bit, um, you know? So, uh, then I'd probably fuck Harley Quinn, and then kill Mystique. Mm. Kill, Mystique. Kill Mystique. That's such a waste. I That's feel a waste. waste. Yeah. I, hey, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is Jennifer Lawrence we're talking about as Mystique. I know, but I just have a thing for a crazy ass chick. Sorry. They're all three crazy. I think Harley Quinn's probably the craziest out of all Absol- three of them. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. But he's imagine how crazy she is. <laughs> yeah. Harley Quinn's crazy. Yeah, I was thinking. So I still keep my answer. Yeah, I think I'm right. You think you're right? That's a really good one. Well, I have have an additional one. This is very, very, very off topic. Again, bonus topic. Rank the cast of The Office from one to five. Oh, my God. I feel like this is a... 
This is a okay, this is slippery gonna be tough. slick. I don't know. Um, so the, this might be for another show, but yeah, let's save this for another cool. show. Do we, we all watch the show? Office? I've seen, I've seen I haven't seen every episode, but I've seen it. Let's save this one for next week. Okay. I think this is a good topic. I don't want to waste it on this one. That's a really great topic. That's a, that's, that's well, a I have plenty more. I have, I have plenty more too. <laughs> right. Hang on. So, oh, he's got a whole list. We one, a whole list. We're gonna try to I shoot per one. We're gonna try to shoot per one per week. Um, so well, I'm not gonna run out for a while, buddy. All right. My topic is: if you could go back in time and stop social media from ever existing, would you do it? Ooh, so if, okay, so this assumes that, like, if we did this, then no one would ever come up with the idea later. Yeah, yeah, like, like it just... Are you sure? Can we talk about social media? Because, okay, so I, it's a very ambiguous term. Yeah, so I'm these, thinking, these like... Days it is. YouTube is social media. Yeah, so is, I mean, yeah. honestly, nowadays, it's like, almost like texting is social media. In my I wouldn't so call would, texting. Would the, would the iPhone exist then, at that point? Yeah, I, I feel like... Would, would it be where it is today, though? Without no, social media. I think social media has pushed the and, and advertising in general. Like, think about how many things like would be affected by there being no social media today. Like, what I do for my day job is digital marketing, right? And so much of what we do in digital marketing is based is is based around social media. And I would I would argue that much of advertising these days, even the web, yeah, in and the way that people get jobs these days is through LinkedIn, which is social media. That's like, what I was. The yeah. other thing was LinkedIn. Like I, I I to me, I think I would say no, just because Career. there are so many things that revolve around social media that are now like their own separate um, entities that wouldn't exist if social media never had existed. Um, so what, okay, so to piggyback off that, what was, what would be one thing you would change if you could go back in time about social media? I Instead wish, of killing it off, but what would you change? What would you try to change about it? This is like, I have an ambiguous answer for that. I okay. feel like if, if there was a way to like kill the fucking haters online, like the people who just get on comments, like and trolls, like troll, yeah, troll people. Uh, for the sake of trolling, you know, or if, like, a girl posts a social media, posts something on Facebook because she's lost, like, you know, she was a really overweight girl and then lost, like, you know, 30 pounds and still looks a little overweight, but she's proud of the progress that she's made or something like that, and then somebody goes, oh, you still look fat. Like, who are these people who fucking say, like, these mean, hateful, awful fucking things all the time online? Then they would call you, like, you're white knighting. You're yeah, white knighting now. Sure, whatever. I don't even know what the <laughs> fuck that means. So, and then it's, like, on YouTube, like, someone posts a video and then someone's like, oh, you're a gay fuck fucking jew and it's like what the fuck like where did all this hate come from and like why does that hate exist i know south park has like touched on all of that like in a couple of like you know farsi right. episodes like their whole like past south season park does. yeah I, I think the the, the the what i believe in why that happens is because the internet is it you can you can be anything and anyone you want to be you know you can be in if, if you're like if you're like that fucked up in the head and and you're, you closet that so much you can you can react to that and, and be that way online without having any repercussions whatsoever. You know, you can be that crazy ass fucking person. It's like reverse awkward, like reverse um, Batman, right? It's yeah. like having your own like personal identity, like you whatever go you want to be as like Skullfucker eighty nine. Yeah, and you can say whatever you want to say as Skullfucker eighty nine that you wouldn't say in your real life. But it's just like man, that we made social media an avenue for hate. Like if there was a way to stop that, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know if that's, like, going back and, like, trying to establish some kind of ground rules or, like, establish some kind of, like, three-strike system for Facebook or whatever that might be or YouTube. But then you get into, like, net neutrality, and that's, like, a whole, yeah. like, other can of worms. Like, online you should be free to do and say what you want, which I agree with, too. I don't know. That's why it's nebulous, and I'm not really sure how to come up it's with It's like when I answered, answer. I'll kill hate, and everyone looked at me like I was fucking so, crazy. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, for me, maybe I'm a little biased because I really don't use it i mean i have a you facebook. Use facebook pretty i often. have facebook i have facebook for sharing funny videos and stuff like that uh i mean yeah i would say for the extent of others i probably on the low end i'm not saying i don't use it i do i do use facebook anything else i really i don't do reddit i don't do um i'm surprised i'm not you don't do youtube reddit. i'm not somebody that just youtubes i don't have twitter i don't have instagram i don't even have a linkedin mm-hmm. um here's the reason why i would get rid of it i just feel from a sociological perspective, and I just feel like social skills have really dimmed horrifically. Um, if you, you know, my my father, you know, I I'm 29, and so I'm still technically a millennial, but I'm not the one that like is buried in my phone ever. And I feel like our generation and younger are buried in their phone. It's so much that like 
you you go out to the bars or you go out or you hang out or you go on a date and they're like you, they can't not check their phone. That's scary. And it, it's really, in my things, my opinion, sad in my.